Parts Price Matrix Review. We've created a Parts Price Matrix feature in MaxTrax that can be applied to parts to automate your selling price calculation. Let's look at the areas in MaxTrax that the Parts Price Matrices are used. First, in a part record, we'll click the Part Search icon and select any part. Under the Price link on the left, we can see there is a checkbox to Use Price Matrix. And then we can select from our part price matrix list the appropriate matrix. Now a part price matrix is a set of calculations based on cost that you set up. These calculations are not based on list. For example, this part that costs us $45 is sold to the customer at a 50% profit margin. That is how we set up our pricing for this matrix called Jobber Pricing. The jobber pricing, which I know by heart, is set up to charge a customer a 50% profit margin on parts that cost us between $25 and $50. If this part cost us only $5, for example, notice I apply a higher profit margin for a cheaper part. Conversely, for a $100 part, I apply a lower profit margin of 40%. If we selected to use another matrix from the drop list, let's say the dealer matrix for this example, our profit margin is less aggressive. Back to that $45 part, we get a 35% profit margin instead of our jobber margin of 50%. So now, why do we have different matrices? Because different part suppliers give us different costs. Like the dealer typically charges us more for the same part we can get in the aftermarket, and we typically cannot charge as much to the customer for a dealer part. Remember, these part price matrices are set by you and should apply to your specific market. You may be able to charge a little more in your area, or a little less for certain parts if, say, there's a lot of competition in your area for brake work. The whole idea behind the parts price matrix is to take the guesswork out of setting a selling price and hopefully standardize your prices a bit. Now there are always situations where you'll need to adjust your parts pricing to get the job, and that's the art of service writing. But the parts price matrices can provide a guideline. Now let's see how the matrix looks from within an RO. So I'm just going to double click on any part here. And you can see the checkbox that says Use Matrix is checked in the Sales Detail Information window. This is automatically checked if the matrix is also checked in the part record like we just saw. We can change the matrix we want to apply here if needed. Or we could always uncheck the Use Matrix box and first look here, see it's grayed out, so we can't just edit the price. OK, now we'll uncheck the Use Matrix box, and now that field is active, and we can enter in any amount we want. We can also select these Spin buttons, up or down, and each click increases or decreases our profit margin 1%. Look in the lower left corner at the Profit Monitor. Additionally, with a matrix applied or not, we can click this down arrow and select a different price level, price B, or list, or even cost. And note the profit monitor will go off the last part matrix applied, green if you hit your profit level in the profit monitor, or red if you're not getting your calculated profit margin. The last area I want to cover about part price matrices is selecting a part price matrix in the vendor record. In a vendor record, under the catalog link on the left, we can select a price matrix that will be applied to all parts selected from an online catalog for this specific vendor. I apply my jobber matrix to my Worldpack purchases. Another example might be CarQuest. I'm going to select the CarQuest matrix that I built specifically to be applied to my CarQuest purchases because I've actually negotiated pretty good pricing from CarQuest. So my selling prices are calculated on a more aggressive profit margin, a higher set of profit margins than my standard jobber price matrix since I've negotiated such good pricing. 
Any part I import from CarQuest Online Catalog onto an RO and Max Tracks will have this part price matrix applied to that part cost. However, if I have a part number already in Max Tracks, I will receive a notification if there was a change in my cost since I bought that part last that I can accept or reject, and my new selling price will be calculated using the matrix already selected in that part record based on my new cost. I recommend you creating a few part price matrices, try them out for a few weeks, and if you find you're editing your prices all the time, just go back into those matrices and set them up to reflect the parts pricing calculations that fit your business. And this concludes the lesson on parts price matrix review.